they aren't hiding anything. Emily Ratajkowski and Harry Styles growing close for weeks before a passionate makeout session in Tokyo, as model is flooded with online abuse. Emily Ratajkowski and Harry Styles were reportedly growing close for for a few weeks before their passionate kissing session on the streets of Tokyo. The 29-year-old singer and 31-year-old supermodel packed on the PDA, appearing to not care who saw them while in full view of onlookers. In our exclusive video, the fine line singer looks dapper in a black suit and a white shirt unbuttoned at the collar. He stands chatting to Emily, who shares son Sylvester Apollo Bear, too, with ex-husband Sebastian Bear McLeod, in the Japanese capital with the fashionista wearing a pink and black jacket over a black and white cropped top and skirt. The pair were seen dancing with each other as they stood alongside a silver people carrier while sheltering from the rain under an umbrella. They shared a number of passionate kisses on the street outside, appearing to not care who saw them while in full view of onlookers. While the video came as a shock to many, The Sun reports that the couple have been getting to know each other for a while now. Speaking to the publication, a source said, Harry and Emily are enjoying getting to know each other. Getting filmed kissing in Tokyo and then that footage being shared with the world wasn't what either of them expected, but they aren't hiding anything. Harry and Emily have been getting to know each other for some time now. They spent some time together out of the public eye this year and are just enjoying each other's company when they can while Harry is on tour. Harry is currently performing in Japan as part of his aptly named Love On Tour series of worldwide gigs. However, since the video broke, Emily has been flooded with a torrent of abuse from Harry's fans online. On her latest Instagram post, the comments have been taken over by mentions of the new relationship. Many people warned her to turn off her comments, saying, I'd turn her comments off now the Harry's are coming. While Harry stands have come out in droves, commenting to tell Emily to leave the pop star alone and to call her derogatory names. One wrote, Harry really? You can do better. She's a mess. While another cruelly said, everybody in the industry has slept with UFFS. Several others wrote things such as, stay away from Harry and leave my man alone, while others simply posted snake emojis. One vile troll said, every day a new man? Good example for your kid, while another threatened, I wish you didn't exist. Several fans stuck up for Emily, declaring that the couple had the right to be together and that Harry would want her treated with kindness, calling the trolls delusional. One wrote, I want to say sorry and apologize for this fandom attacking you. I think they don't even know the song treat people with kindness, cause obviously they don't. Some people just need to grow up. So I'm really really sorry. It was reported at the end of last month that Harry had moved on from Olivia with someone else, although the mystery lady was not identified. A source told that the mirror at the time, Harry is seeing someone. He's going to great lengths to keep her identity quiet after the circus surrounding his relationship with Olivia. But his close circles all know about the romance. Though it's early days, things seem to be going well. Emily had in recent months been linked to serial dater Pete Davidson. She filed for divorce from her film producer ex-husband Sebastian Bear McLeod in September. The married couple first split in July amid accusations that 42-year-old Sebastian was a serial cheater. Meanwhile, Harry and actress Olivia, 39, went their separate ways in November after they found they had different priorities that are keeping them apart. Olivia was last seen supporting Harry when she attended his November 15th concert at LA's Kia Forum, where she was accompanied by her two children. In November it was claimed that Olivia was disappointed that her relationship with Harry Styles did not work out after nearly two years of dating. Meanwhile, Olivia appears to have her own problems to deal with after she appeared to plead poverty in court filings this week. Despite being worth more than $10 million. She detailed her income and expenses included in her childcare battle with ex Jason Sudeikis, who she was spotted with on Saturday. In papers, Wilde claimed that the Ted Lasso star is prolonging his court fight with her because he is trying to litigate her into debt. While Jason can afford to spin his wheels with filing after filing, Olivia cannot. 
her lawyers wrote in advance of a hearing scheduled in Los Angeles for today, which has now been cancelled. Jason seems intent on throwing whatever he can against the wall to see what will stick, and this request for order seeking a stay of the California parentage action is just the latest example, they add. She accused him of being underhanded and acting in bad faith over the future of their two children. Friday's hearing was scheduled to be over whether California courts should determine the warring couple's fight over the children, Otis, 8, and 6-year-old Daisy, or whether New York is the appropriate venue. But on Thursday, a judge in New York rejected Jason's request for a second time to have the case moved to the East Coast. Olivia, 39, says the matter has already been settled and it should be in L.A., but her ex is obfuscating in his bid to have future hearings held in Brooklyn. Typically awards of child support in New York are lower than they are in California. Jason should not be permitted to litigate Olivia into debt, and then claim she should be deprived of her right to seek a needs-based fee contribution from him, her attorneys write. Sudeikis, 47 filed a fresh motion to halt a California order that ruled their children should live in the Golden State, giving him time to file an appeal in New York after a judge ruled against his plea last year for the children to reside on the East Coast. In a big win for Olivia, a judge rejected Jason's request in August 2022 to have the case moved to New York. Jason filed an appeal, but according to TMZ, a judge in New York rejected the request once again on Thursday. Meanwhile Olivia's split from Harry came a surprise to fans. People magazine claimed the pop star and U.S. film actress were taking a break from their romance due to having different priorities that are keeping them apart. A source said, he's still touring and is now going abroad. She is focusing on her kids and her work in L.A. It's a very amicable decision. They're still very close friends. A friend added to the publication, right now. They have different priorities that are keeping them apart. The public pressure on them has been difficult. They've had ups and downs throughout the relationship. Despite their split, the two have no bad blood between them, according to page 6. Harry didn't dump Olivia, or vice versa. This is the longest relationship Harry's ever had, so clearly they have a special bond, the insider shared. The source added, they're on a break. It's impossible to have a relationship when he's in every continent next year and Olivia has her job and her kids. This is the right thing for both of them. Harry and Olivia famously starred together in the movie Don't Worry Darling, with rumors of a feud between Olivia and co-star Florence Pugh circulating. The pair first crossed paths in September 2020 when Harry was cast as actress Florence's husband and replaced Shia LaBeouf in film Don't Worry Darling. The singer who made his acting debut in 2017 film Dunkirk, signed on to Olivia's film after impressing both director Olivia and star Florence. Two months later, Olivia split from Ted Lasso actor Jason, after nine years which left the actor reportedly absolutely heartbroken. After growing close to each other on the set of Don't Worry Darling, the Hollywood actress was pictured arriving at the former One Direction heartthrob's L.A. home with her luggage in hand in January and the two were seen driving around California together in January 2021. The pair then made their public debut when they were spotted holding hands at Harry's agent sweating at the San Isidro Ranch in Montecito, California. Olivia and Harry later broke up in November last year shortly after the release of their film Don't Worry Darling which she directed with him as the leading man. They are now said to be on good terms, with a source telling People magazine Olivia is in a great place with her ex Harry. They said, she's focused on her kids and co-parenting with Jason. She and Harry are good friends, there's no animosity whatsoever. Plus she's got many different directing projects in the works. This month it was reported Olivia was ready to give love another chance. According to a report from Us Weekly, the Don't Worry Darling actress and director hopes to find a new romance soon. Olivia is ready to date again, making it clear she's available, and she isn't looking for anything less than an amazing guy, the insider shared with the site. In November it was claimed that Wilde was disappointed that her relationship with Harry Styles did not work out after nearly two years of dating. 
A source told People that the break was difficult for the actress. The break has been difficult for Olivia. They have had some issues, but Olivia thought they were gonna work through it all, the insider explained. She is disappointed. It's just a tricky situation, though. Meanwhile, Emily reportedly filed for divorce from her husband of four years, Sebastian Bear McLeod, in September, two months after they split over allegations that he had cheated on her, according to Page Six. The outlet, which claims to have seen the documents, added that the divorce is being contested, which means there are issues to be litigated. The model reportedly made the decision to leave her film producer husband following the claims of his infidelity, but is said to be coping well. A source close to the star first confirmed the shocking split to People magazine in July, explaining that Emily is focused on parenting the couple's son Sylvester, 16 months. They split recently. It was Em's decision. She is doing okay, the insider revealed. She is strong and focused on her son. She loves being a mom. The news came just days after someone close to the pair told Page Six that Sebastian was a serial cheater, with the insider stating, it's gross. He's a dog. Comedian and social media influencer Claudia Oshry also spoke out about the situation during an episode of the Morning Toast podcast at the time, in which she claimed Sebastian's infidelity was an open secret in the industry. It's, like known that her husband has cheated on her and they're filing for divorce, she said, adding that when the couple officially confirms their separation, it will not come as a surprise to anyone. Emily and Sebastian were last spotted together in mid-June while on vacation in Italy, and appeared in good spirits as they relaxed on Porto Ercole Beach together. The couple was also among the many celebrity guests at Aria Manuel's wedding to Sarah Staldinger in St. Tropez in late May. She first sparked breakup rumors in July, when she was seen going for a stroll in New York with the couple's son, and was not wearing her wedding ring. The model was pictured moving her stuff out of the New York City apartment that she previously shared with Sebastian in August. As movers removed her furniture, artwork, clothing, and other belongings from the home, Emily was seen carrying out a plant. Emily and Sebastian who is best known for producing movies Uncut Gems, Good Time, and Funny Pages, were first linked on Valentine's Day in February 2018, one month after news had hit the web that she had split from her boyfriend Jeff Majid after three years together. At the time, the pair was spotted packing on a PDA in Los Angeles, California. It's unclear how they met, but an insider told Us Weekly at the time that they had known each other for years. Just days after their first spotting, news hit the web that they had tied the knot in a New York City courthouse on February 23, 2018.